Hello everyone, welcome back to our Level Up series. Let us look at one more new question of our series. The question is create maximum number. So let me read the question for you all. The question says, we are given with two integer arrays, nums1 and nums2 of length m and n respectively. Nums1 and nums2 represent the digits of two numbers. We are also given with an integer k and we need to create the maximum number of length k from digits of these two numbers. These numbers are represented in the form of two integer arrays. And the main thing is the relative order of the digits from the same array must be preserved. And we need to return an array of the k digits which is representing our answer. So let me explain you the question with the help of an example. In example number one, the nums1 array was given to us as 3465. The nums2 array was given to us as 912583. So these are the two digits which are represented in the form of an array. The first number is 3465. The second one is 912583. And the value of k is given to us as 5. So what we need to do is we need to create the maximum number of length 5 with the help of these two arrays. So how, what is the maximum number that can be formed? The maximum number that can be formed from nums1 and nums2 is 98653. This is the maximum number that we can form of, of length 5 with the help of these two, two arrays, nums1 and nums2. How we did it? We tried to form 0 digit number from nums1 and a k minus 0, that is 5 maximum number from nums2. In the similar way, then we take we will take 1 digit from nums1 and 4 digits from nums2. Similarly, 2 digits from nums1 and 3 digits from nums2. In this way, we will get different, different numbers and the maximum number will be our answer. It will be much, very much clear with the help of code. Let me, let us jump on to the code now. Let's see. The question, the function which was given to us is this max number. We were given with two arrays, nums1 and nums2, which are representing the digits and one variable k. What we are trying to do is we are going to consider each and every possible case that can be formed. That is, we will take maximum number of zero digits from nums1, then maximum number of k minus zero digits from nums2. In the similar way, if we will take maximum number of one digit from nums1, then k minus one digits from nums2, so that the length of the resultant is always k. So we are going to try each and every possible case. For trying each and every possible case, we have made one for loop. First of all, we have made one vector ans in which we are going to store our answer. Then we have made applied a for loop from int i equals to zero i less than equals to k. This loop will help us make the maximum number from nums1 as well as maximum number from nums2. Initially, the value of i is zero. So we will, we have made one vector temp1, which is going to return the maximum number of length i from nums1. In the similar way in temp2, the maximum number of length k minus i from nums2. So for that vector in temp1, we have made one function solve, which is going to return the maximum number of length i from nums1. In the similar way, vector in temp2 will store the maximum number of length k minus i from nums2. Then what we are going to do is, we are going to merge these both numbers so that we can get a maximum number of length k. So this merge function will merge both of these numbers stored in temp1 and temp2 and the result will get stored in this particular temp. So if temp dot size double equals to k, then we will get what we are going to do. We are going to do answer equals to max of answer comma temp. So that at the end, we will have our maximum number that can be formed of length 5 with the help of these two numbers. So I hope the logic is clear to you all. Now we will look at the solve function as well as in the merge function. So first of all, let us go to the solve function, which are, which is going to return the maximum number of length i from a particular vector. So let us go on to that solve function now, which we are calling C. This is the solve function which we have made. Int k is the length of that particular uh, number, which is going to be returned from this particular vector nums. So first of all, we have made one variable n, which is storing the size and int n equals to nums dot size. If k is greater than, suppose k is greater than the size. So it means we cannot form that particular number. So we are going to return an empty vector in this particular case. Otherwise, we are going to make one uh, vector answer in which we are going to store the uh, maximum number of length k from the vector nums. 
we are going to push nums at the index of zero. Then we are applying the approach of monotonic stack. What we are doing is we are applying one for loop for it i equals to one i less than an i plus plus. Then we are applying one while loop. While loop in the conditions specified are while not equal to ans dot empty, the vector should not be empty. That is why initially we have pushed back nums at the index of zero. Nums at the index of i should be greater than ans dot back. I hope you all are aware of these functions of vector. And at rem, that is the remaining numbers should be greater than zero. Then it will pop back and it will decrement the value of rem. If these conditions are true, then uh, we are going to pop back from our answer vector and we are going to decrement the value of remit, remain. After once this while loop and we are going to push back our number nums at the index of one. Once this loop end, we are going to apply one condition while rem minus minus and we are going to pop back from our answer vector. Now our answer vector will contain the maximum number of length k from the vector nums. Once this function solve ends, this answer vector answer very vector will contain the maximum number of length k from the vector num. So this which we have applied vector in temp one will contain the maximum number of length i from nums one. Similarly, temp two will contain maximum number of length k minus i from nums two. After that, we will merge both of them. So we have made one merge function to merge both of these vectors. In merge function, we have taken an answer variable. We have passed it by reference because we need to store the result with us and v1 and v2 vectors. We have computed the size and we have made uh, starting index int i equals to zero and j is less j equals to zero. So this can, if this condition is true, it means while i is less than m and j is less than n. I hope the merge function uh, you all must be knowing, but let then also let me tell you all in brief. So we have considered several cases. The first case can be, we need to form the maximum number from these two vectors, right? So if the first number is equals five and five, so if v1 at the index of i double equals to v2 at the index of j, then we are going to uh, apply these following conditions. So there can be several cases. If the numbers are equal, the case one, the case two can be if the first vector, if the number from the first number from the first vector is greater than the second one, and the case three can be the number from the second vector is greater than the first one. So these all cases can be applied on the basis of these cases. We have applied the loops and this merge function will return us the maximum number from these two vectors and it, the result will get stored in our answer. So I hope the question is clear to you all. The code of this particular question will be provided to you in the description box as well. You can have a look at, at it. You will understand it in it better. If the question is clear, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. Thank you.